Hi folks, I'm Mike and I really do hope you're well. Now I'm making this quick video because I was contacted by Fluffy Audio, a company based in the Lombardy region of Italy and that region is the most affected region in terms of the coronavirus outbreak in Italy. Now they were writing to let me know that they're currently selling one of their most popular piano libraries for a highly reduced rate and that all of the funds from those sales will be donated to their local hospitals as they struggle to keep up with the demand placed upon them with this coronavirus outbreak. Now this library normally sells for around about 75 US dollars but they're currently selling it for the crazy price of 10 US dollars and as I say, all of that money will be donated to their local hospitals. So this is your chance to really help out and at the same time get a really awesome piano library. Now I normally leave this bit till the end but I'm going to say it now because even if you're not going to buy this piano library you can still help out by liking and sharing this video. The more you like and share it the more people get to see it and those who will buy the library will buy it and be helping out in that region. So you'll be helping out by just taking a few seconds to like and share so do that now. Now this is a really awesome sounding piano library. I've had it for just a few hours but I'm really impressed so let's take a look at it now. So I feel like I should start off with a bit of an apology because I'm really not much of a piano player but I'll do my best today so that you can appreciate the full range of this instrument, the bottom, the middle and the high and see if you like it for yourself. Now as regular visitors to my channel know I don't only like to test these instruments in isolation but I also like to put them in the context of a piece of music with some other instruments around them. In this case I've written a short piece of music to demonstrate the piano and I've added some drums, bass and guitar as well. I'll be doing that towards the end of the video so check that out. But first of all I just want to concentrate on the basic sound of the piano. Now this is an upright piano so it's the sound of an upright piano quite different to grand pianos and those sort of more I'm going to call them more sophisticated sounds or more refined sounds. An upright piano has a particular characteristic very earthy and it's really some of the imperfections which really add to the character of an upright piano. Now this is a contact library and you do need the full version of contact to use it and let's go ahead and listen to the sound of this instrument. Now when you first load it up it does have the reverb switched on so I'm just going to switch that off so that we can hear it just in its raw sense and let's start off with the bottom end. So even I can handle that piano playing. And the middle. middle to high and a nice tinkly top end obviously very very realistic sounding um, really nice sort of response with the velocity so you can be sort of very sensitive like that and get nice and loud as well and some really nice resonance to the piano I particularly like it on the top end if you can have a listen to this can hear that frame you know resonating as you do if you're close to a piano really like that kind of sound now in terms of the interface you can see here on the first page here you've got some things which affect the sound so and we have an, a very basic equalizer there um, a compressor um, a convolution reverb which I'm going to switch back on because I I really like the sound of that convolution reverb um, and then some you know ways to affect the sound in terms of distance I should mention I've only quickly run through this plugin so you know I'm going to give you a very brief overview here I haven't necessarily tested all of this the, we then move on to some response stuff so a velocity curve as you would normally expect to get in some of these piano libraries so you can sort of affect the sensitivity of your keyboard there also an attack and a release control there which is very cool um, some control Controls over the, de the decay, you don't always get these on all plugins, so that's very handy there. Then moving on, the resonance controls, this is the part that I really personally love, you know, where you can sort of, yeah, control the volume of those resonance. Now, if you want it to be sound sort of a little bit more sterile, you can, you know, turn all of this off, but um, I think it's really nice to have those sort of body sounds in there, um, you know, all those pedal sounds and all that kind of stuff as well. Really like that, especially when you're doing perhaps just a piano and a vocal or something like that. 
moving on to that, then of course you do uh, get some control over some of those effects. You know, the pedal up, the pedal down. Um, the 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 occasional crackles. I tried that. You know, I don't know if I particularly like that, but hey, you can give it a go for yourself. So some nice controls over um, the piano there, and as I say, a really nice earthy kind of upright sound you know the sort of piano that you might have found in your lounge a few years ago in a local community hall something like that so I really love this now as I mentioned I put together a really short piece of music I very quickly wrote it kind of last night and then just developed it a little bit this morning um, and as I say, I've added some bass and drums and a little bit of guitar to this. Now, I haven't given this a name whatsoever, this piece of music. It is unnamed. But in the tradition of this channel, I'd love to hear your suggestions for a name for this piece of music. Put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear um, what you think this piece of music is representing to you. It's a little bit sad sounding. Sorry about that if you need cheering up. But, you know, that's just the way it is. So have a listen to that now. Now, as I said earlier, whilst I highly encourage you to go ahead and buy this piano library, if you can't, then at least help out by spreading the word. You can do that by liking this video and sharing this video on all kinds of social media platforms. That'll make sure the word gets out there, increase the chances of sales, and increase the chance that more money will go to that affected area and help out those hospitals. So please do that right now. Now, if you'd like to make any comment about the sound of this plugin, at all do make sure down below I'd love to hear about that and if you do go ahead and buy this library right now then let us know in the comments down below I'd like to see how many of you have gone ahead and bought it now as ever if you do like this kind of content then please do make sure you subscribe and ring the bell on YouTube so that they notify you about my future videos and I'll see you in the next video